Smitty, let's talk about Melo's role in Houston after officially signing a one-year contract to play with the Rockets. Now, Anthony enters his 16th season as the NBA's 19th all-time leading scorer. However, he is coming off the season where he posted his lowest numbers of his career, averaging about 16 points, shooting under 36% from three. While Melo will team up with his good buddy Chris Paul, it also has the makings of an awkward reunion with Mike D'Antoni, who admitted that he and Melo clashed in New York. However, the Rockets coach is confident that this is a much different situation. Now the question here, Smitty, is how Mike D'Antoni will use Melo after he is very much against coming off the bench with OKC. Addressing the reports that the Rockets are going to make Melo a reserve player, D'Antoni said, quote, whether he starts or doesn't start, and he, meaning talking about Melo here, said it, uh, is, is a moot point. We'll make that decision as we go forward. Maybe he starts the game. Maybe he doesn't. We had to make, that, make sure that everybody's on the same page and definitely, definitely is. We all have the same vision and want to get this thing done. All right, Smitty. So, Melo pumping the brakes on this whole idea. Uh, he had some TMZ cameras right in his face, right? And he said, come on, guys, uh, let's just play it out. I just signed, it, not necessarily against it, but not embracing it yet. Would the Rockets benefit from having Carmelo Anthony not start? And do you think Melo's ready to accept that if that's what Houston wants? I say, Jared, let's back up. Let's look at OKC. Is He was basically the third option. I think he accepted that role as a third option. I think the style of play and where they play was not and for Melo's favor as far as him offensively and being one of those guys. And then I think also it started to snowball. He started to get frustrated. And then they've never found a way to try to get out of this hole because they were winning some basketball games as well. So it's hard to fix some things as winning. I think now you look at it as he's a year older. It's a different type of team. I think the one thing about D'Antoni's system, coming off the bench or scoring, as Eric Gordon, you still can get up points. And we started talking about the strength of Carmelo Anthony is still scoring the basketball. Is it isolation basketball? A little bit in Houston, but I think in D'Antoni's system, the two best players are in pick and rolls. And I'm not saying Clint Capella is the second best player, but he's probably the second most important player when James Harden or Chris Paul has the basketball. I would love to see Melo just using kind of a way, whether starting or coming off the bench, where it looks like he's more off the bench, where he has the basketball and you're going through him for offense. So Mike D'Antoni may be painting a picture to Melo of getting more opportunity as a role player off the bench rather than starting with Chris Paul and James Harden and Clint Capella. But, you know, this Houston team lost Trevor Ariza. Luke Bamute left the team as well. So key pieces that started big games for this team. If it's not Carmelo Anthony, who is Melo accepting filling that role as a starter? Well, I think, um, you know, if he's not starting, you say he's, if he's not starting, I think, you know, P.J. Tucker done a fantastic job. Sure. So I think um, you have some guys, and Ennis is not bad. Question mark for me will be how healthy is Ryan Anderson because he fits that system. I think for Carmelo Anthony, you come out and play, you'll see during preseason, you'll see he'll get the flow. I think he'll be happy if he's getting his touches. The one thing about Houston, even though it's not stressed, they defend it in the playoffs last year enough to win games. It was light years better than what they did the year before. And the reason why is you did bring in some defenders and some scrappers. I think the one thing for it is people always want to say, you want to see Olympic mellow. Right. To see Olympic mellow, you have to have guys around him that was willing him to give him the basketball and get him open shots. And I think they have some guys. The whole thing for him is he has to come and understand is just say whatever it is it takes for us to win. Win, win, win. And in that system, you get up a lot of points.